Thank you so much, you know, for coming out. Uh, cold day, but warm hearts uh, during this season of uh, Thanksgiving. I often say that people get it mixed up. They think it's thanks receiving. In fact, it's Thanksgiving. We need to understand that so many people are, are not in a position to feed themselves uh, throughout this year and this time of the year. And I re recall as a police officer, and I, I always, during this time of the year, remind individuals that this is a time when you have one of the highest levels of suicide because many people don't have families, many people are depressed, uh, many people feel as though uh, they don't matter. And this is our way of saying, yes, you do matter, and to show our love. We want to thank our volunteers, the awesome volunteers that come out uh, every year to help us uh, with, with the distribution of turkeys. Our clergy and faith-based institution, uh, they really reach out through soup kitchens and feeding um, individuals, hosting different events so people could appreciate of being part of a family. So let's give them a round of applause. All of our volunteers, all of our faith-based, all of our soup kitchen. The lines are getting longer, but the patience of the volunteers and staffers are not getting shorter. They have a long way of having the patience and understanding that people are in need. And although they want dinner, they also want dignity. That's they right. want to be treated with respect. Yeah. They want to be treated with love and care and nurturing. And these uh, soup kitchens have found creative ways of instilling dignity in people. Uh, being short on resources should not be a reason for you to be short on respect. And that is something we want to continue to push forward um, here in Borough, Borough Hall. I want to thank our partners, Beth Stuyvesant Restoration Corporation. Uh, one of my favorite organizations, everyone knows how I feel about her, Bed-Stuy Campaign Against Hunger, BJ's Wholesale Club, Downtown Brooklyn Partnership, First American International Bank, Investors Bank, King's Plaza, Korean American Association of Brooklyn, always there for us, always here to assist Adam and his team. Thank you so much. National Grid. New York State Latino Bar and Restaurant Association, Santander Bank, ShopRite, Target, WBLS, Whole Foods, all community partners, corporate partners, and entities. Also want to thank our great volunteers, Ethel Thompson, Crown Heights Lions, they are always roaring in the place, you know. Thank you. Bed-Stuy Lions, Farragut Lions, Prospect Heights Lions, Red Hook Lions, Civic organizations that are civic-minded and are willing to give back uh, to uh, the community at large, and we cannot thank them enough. Uh, so this is our team, 1,000 turkeys, over 165,000 pounds of food will be going to individuals. And we have fresh vegetables to be given out as well because we want to make sure that it's a healthy consumption of a Thanksgiving meal. And so all of our teams, we want to really thank. And we're doing something else this year that's so important. Uh, when I sat down with my uh, food pantry and other organization, in particular, uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Best, I campaign Best I Campaign Against Hunger, um, I learned that many individuals who come in for resources, they do not have the car fare or the metro card to get to their location. If they are offered a job interview or offered an opportunity to go and uh, get their social security card or to fill out an application, they don't have the metro card. Let me have one of the metro cards. We have one of the metro cards. Just one. Oh, just that. They don't have the metro card to get to their location. And what we are doing, we are reaching out to all of our faith-based institutions, and we're asking them to request from your parishioners to donate a metric card. When you tie it in offer, God said give back 10%, those of us who are from the Christian faith. He didn't say the 10% has to be in dollars. He didn't say the 10% has to go to a church. 
He just said the 10% has to go to you. 10% should go back to people. And you can buy Metro cards, you can buy a meals to someone, and 10% is just the starting point. We should give as much as we can, because the more we give, the more we receive. And so we're going to turn these Metro cards over to our partners, our community partners, 100 Metro cards, and I want to really thank of, of Bishop Michael Evans of Faith Holy Church of the Living God in Bedford Stuyvesant and Reverend Dr. Alfred Cockfield of Guard Battalions of Prayer in East Flatbush and others who donated these Metro cards. So now a person who is in need comes into their office, we send them downtown, they don't have to jump to turnstile and get arrested, they don't have to stand in front of the turnstile and beg for a swipe. They can go in in a dignified manner, swipe their Metro card, and go to their place of employment. We must, if we really care, we have to have a fair fair so that people can move throughout this city and receive the opportunities that they, are, that they need. That's why we joined the fair, fair, fair half price Metro card uh, um, campaign. This campaign would allow a half price Metro card for all adults who are below the poverty line. We can all share this together and yeah. get everyone through this together during these, during these different, difficult times. Another, where's Renee? Is Renee here? Renee, Renee, come on up. Renee is, you know, National Grid is just amazing. Yes. Renee is all over the place acting like she's cold. <laughs> you know, come on in here. And our team, you know, we, we just have a great group of volunteers that come out um, and really give a hand. And, and National Grid has this amazing team of volunteers that um, they just come out and just participate. You see those green shirts? You know, the power to serve. I like that. You know, we, gotta, we have to have the power to serve. Uh, Lori just handed me something else. On Thanksgiving Day, uh, I enjoy this so much, you know, and please come out to Boys and Girls High School. Uh, you know, before we sit down and have dinner with our family, we like to feed others. And so at uh, Boys and Girls High School, 11.30 to 2.30 p.m., doors will open at 11 a.m. We're going to have a traditional Thanksgiving feast of uh, Brooklyn Borough Hall with LCG Community Services. We'll come together and have this great Thanksgiving dinner um, where people can give thanks. Uh, it is a blessing to be able to give. Let's continue to give. To have to give is to ensure you will always have to receive. So thank you very much. I want to call on um, uh, two of our partners uh, to give a few comments. Uh, Dr. Melanie uh, Samuels, Best Eye Campaign Against Hunger. Dr. Samuels. Good afternoon, every, good morning, everyone. I again want to thank Borough Hall, our Borough President, Eric Adams, for his generosity and for understanding the need of Brooklyn. We at bed Campaign Against Hunger serve approximately 30,000 individuals, but not because we are an emergency feeding program. We also have the opportunity to offer families what we call benefit services. Benefit services means that family have the opportunity to access other services with our partners. And over the years, we have found out that many families, although they need the services, whether it's um, getting to a job, getting um, health services, getting to the social service um, um, services, whatever they needed, a social service, um, a social security card, whatever they needed, they had a difficult time going there. And if it's something that deals with a single mother and her four children or her two children, we found out that she cannot take all of them because they don't have the fear to do so. So when we brought this to the bar president attention a few months ago, he said immediately that this would be something that he would work on. And I'm excited. It's a, per it's a perfect time to receive um, these Metro cards to offer them to families that need it the most. We want to thank all the CBOs and, so, and, and um, um, churches that have come alongside to do so because it's good to give. And this is a wonderful time. Right now we have many families that are waiting. 
um, to get turkeys and other, other goodies for Thanksgiving. But can you imagine their face of expression when they see that we'll be adding some Metro cards to it? So, uh, Bar President, we really appreciate you and thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. We appreciate what, you're, what you are doing. And also, Bishop Michael Evans, Faith Holy Church of the Living God. Good morning. Good morning. To the Honorable Borough President. When he gave the charge concerning the Metro cards, we went back to our local sanctuary, and I told the congregants, woo, that's going to be something. And they said, woo. I said, yes, W-H-E-W, -E Women Helping to Empower Women. So I told our women of the church, he gave the clergy the charge. I said, I'm going to give you the charge. We're going to help the women of Brooklyn to get to the various places where the help is. I said that we want to set the example as the small church in Brooklyn with the biggest heart. And I said, I want us to bring them 100 Metro cards, and we can do it. And by the help of God, we were able to donate to the borough president 100 Metro cards, not to be seen and heard, but to help somebody. Because by the grace of God, that could be us. And we're so thankful and helpful, we were able to help our sister at this time of help. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I want to hear from our, our partners. Uh, and also, I want to point out my team here at Borough Hall, my volunteers, Lori Lewis, External Affairs, Michelle, Pastor Morose, Ama Jamal, uh, Denise, David, who's cold, handing the camera, Malcolm, um, and all our Borough Hall volunteers. They're amazing. Erica's going to take the great picture, so we have to be nice to her. Eileen, where's Eileen? Uh, Eileen, so great, great team of volunteers. Thank you so much. We're going to bring up Renee. Renee with the power to serve. Come on, say a few words. Good morning, everyone. It's a brisk day, but we're out here for a great cause. Is that not correct? That's right. Okay. So on behalf of National Grid, we are so proud to once again partner with uh, uh, um, Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams. I have to say that slow. That's a lot of words. <laughs> but I say that with true honesty and appreciation for all the things that is under his administration that is taking place in the community. So let's just give him and his office a round of applause for all that they're doing. On behalf of National Good, we have been partnering in this initiative for several years. And so it is important to us not only give back through a sponsorship opportunity, but a more of a partnership that we've established with the organization. So we appreciate the opportunity to do that. And just all of our National Grid volunteers, if they would wave their hands, we have about 20 plus volunteers here today that were always out in the community doing power to serve. And that's important to us because as an organization, we want to give back in the form, not only from a financial perspective, but also from a, a humanistic perspective of providing individuals and our employees are on task to do volunteer work. So on behalf of National Grid, we want to thank you today. We want to thank that we're able to help the community in so many different ways, and we appreciate the opportunity to be able to do it in this way. Thank you, and have a great day. Thank you, Renee. Renee, and I know I saw Kayla somewhere out here. She's the one that makes sure our money is right, you know? <laughs> so we got to say thank you to her. Uh, we want to bring on another uh, partner. Always when we call them, they're there. Um, our good friend Jennifer Smith, Community Development Officer, Investors Bank. Jennifer? Hi everyone, good morning. Um, here at, uh, we at Investors Bank are just so appreciative to Eric Adams and Borough Hall for allowing us to help out for the fourth year. We're so excited to be able to live out the four C's of Investors Bank's mission, which is character, cooperation, community, and commitment. And today is an amazing example of all four of those things. So thank you, and thank you everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause, because today is amazing. Thank you. Jennifer looks so toasty, got her gloves on and everything. Um, great partner, great, great partner. They are on Target. Um, from representing Target, Shannon, the district team leader. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Just wanted to say thank you so much for having us here today. This is the second time that we've been a part of this awesome day and just really, really proud to be a part of such an amazing community. Giving to communities has been a part of Target's DNA from our inception. Since 1946, Target's actually given back 5% of our profit back to the communities that we serve. 
which today that's more than $4 million a week that we give back to communities. Wow. Nice. Volunteerism and service are also an integral part of how we make an impact. So in 2015 alone, Target team members do donated more than 1.1 million hours of service. And in 2016, the New York metro area store teams, we've served over 25,000 volunteer hours year to date. Target's also made a company-wide commitment to wellness with a focus on making sure that our guests, our team members, and all of us are living a more healthy and active life. Our work is focused around helping communities overcome barriers in wellness, such as access, affordability, and inspiration. And our dedication to wellness will continue to build on our legacy of work in education, sustainability, diversity and inclusion, and addressing local community needs. We'll continue to address the unique needs in our local Brooklyn community where guests and our team members live, learn, work, and play. From all of us at Target, we would like to wish everyone a happy and safe Thanksgiving, and thank you for having us here today. Thank you. Thank you, Target. And we appreciate the initiatives you're doing around Health First. Uh, we want to bring on, we have two more speakers, and then we're going to give out our turkeys. Um, our partners over at the Korean American Association of Brooklyn, Wayne Cole. Was Wayne? Thank you, thank you, Adam. Good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Uh, be help of the Korean American Association, we attend together, together, and especially Thanksgiving period. But since many, many years we uh, attend together, and but we continue work for our presence in Brooklyn and still is so we are still in a small groups but we work with Korean American Association we continue work thank you very much and all we have the members and Bro that's uh, ex president of Young Bae Choi and uh, it's a leaf from an uh, president uh, that's uh, from from Flushing and also uh, Brooklyn uh, that's uh, for president office Honorary Ambassador from um, the Eric uh, Adam Kim. And give him the, this one. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. I just want to say one Brooklyn. One Brooklyn. One Brooklyn. Thank you. I like that. And from the Downtown Brooklyn Partnership, Shabazz Stewart, Director of Operations. Shabazz here? Okay, lastly, Aurelis Tavares, New York State Latino Restaurant Association. Uh, we just want to say Latino, minority, black, white, we're all present here, but the Latino Association is present. We want to help, we want to be part, we're restaurants all over the world and all over the state of New York, but particularly Brooklyn. One of the, I just want to tell you something interesting. That thing that happened in Manhattan with the active shooter, it was a camera in a restaurant that helped catch that guy. Wow. So we're here, we're right. part of everybody's life. We are available and we want to tell Eric, you are amazing. <laughs> no, and we are Go Brooklyn. <laughs> Okay, okay, so Lori, I guess Lori was Lori, Lori, Lori. You tell us how we're moving, how we're flowing? Okay. Great, great, great. So great, give yourself a hand. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Uh,